Hi there guys, it's ZachAsh232 and today I'm going to be showing you how to rip audio tracks off of a CD you have whether you want to put it on your iPod or just on your computer and I'll show you all the different formats you can uh, save that in and stuff like that. So the program we're going to be using today is called Exact Audio Copy and uh, the URL is exactaudiocopy.de it's uh, .de because it's a German website and I'm just going to hit download I'm going to choose the uh, American slash European download mirror. And then I'm going to hit exact audio copy 1.0 beta 2 international. And that will just save it to my desktop. Okay. Before I show you how to rip your audio CD, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, this right here is the CD Black Gives Way to Blue by Alice in Chains. I have all the tracks here. They're named. Uh, they're pretty much perfectly ripped. I have the back of the album, the CD, the front of the album, the inside. I have a log of the ripping itself with all the technical details and I have just an information page which has like Allison Chains' biography, um, the label, the track listing, the performers which I got off Wikipedia and Amazon and stuff and um, I will now show you how to actually do that so run the installer press next I agree just go through this the default settings should be fine and then run it as soon as it's done it'll start up for this press yes and then just press next right here it is detected uh, the following CD drives in my system this actually right here is a virtual drive it's not actually a physical hard drive or not hard drive um, optical drive that I can put a CD in so this probably doesn't apply to you but just make sure that the DVD drive that you have selected is actually a real DVD drive that you have the CD in uh, right here you can choose for the drive whether speed is more important than accurate results. I'm going to choose accurate results. And then you have the choice to either use the default values that EAC has detected for the drive or you can detect your own features if you don't trust them. I'm just going to trust EAC. Press next until you get to this page where you will choose your um, default compression codec and you can either choose mp3 or WMA which are lossy which means it sacrifices some sound quality in order to make the file smaller so that's good if you have uh, bad audio like if you have crappy headphones then you'd use mp3 because you're not going to hear a difference between higher quality and lower quality anyway or if like your iPod is running low on space you'd probably want to use mp3 because it's smaller than WMA or FLAC and FLAC actually can't be played on an iPod anyway I'm not sure about WMA I'm pretty sure it can though but um for this I'm going to choose FLAC FLAC and WMA lossless are both lossless codecs which means they're a lot bigger like the file size is a lot bigger but it captures every single part of the audio perfectly and it doesn't sacrifice anything um, so it's better for archiving a CD or making a backup or if you have like really high quality speakers and let's say you wanted to rip your entire, entire CD collection to your computer and play it on there. So I'm going to choose FLAC and then it'll pre-configure it, just press next. I'm not going to e enter my email. And then right here you can choose the uh, naming configuration. So in some of these it has the track number first then the artist then the song name some of these it has the album then a slash then the track name then the song name um, it's basically a bunch of different ways that the audio can be saved like in order to be identified so I'm just going to choose the one that looks best to me which is the track number artist and then the song name and I'm just going to press next and then if you're watching this tutorial is probably your first time using EAC so you should select I'm a beginner and then press finish not all um, CDs have the data like about the artist and the track name built in and as a matter of fact a lot of them don't so after this is ripped I'm just gonna have to change the artist name to Allison Chains change the track name to the correct track name 
and then just press copy selected tracks compressed and then choose where you want it to be saved like my desktop and then start and it will rip all the tracks and you have the option to skip them if you want and then uh, you have other options like that and at the end it will display a log that you can actually save which is this log right here that I have saved and it shows you um, if it's accurately ripped because EAC checks it by default against uh, an online copy basically that checks to see if it was ripped correctly um, that protects it like let's say your CD is scratched and it accidentally rips part of the song wrong um, this plugin can tell if it's accurately ripped or not and then it shows the track quality so this is 99.9 .9, this one's a hundred percent and uh, it has a bunch of technical details and then I have all the songs here they're all in flak format as you can see and then I have information on the uh, artist like I've showed you before and uh, scans of everything and then if you just play a song you can tell that the audio is fine And as you can see, that was ripped uh, perfectly. And uh, that's about it. Now you can make uh, backups of any CDs that you have, or you can put them on your iPod easily in any format that you want. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.